Jamal Hill, guys, I don't know if there's a fighter that I could like anymore. This guy's fun. I liked everything about him over the weekend. I like the way he walked to the ring. I like the way he performed. And there's certain things that athletes can do, and I'm talking athletes here, okay, where you will quickly identify them as special. A special athlete doesn't have, I'm not talking about wins and losses and what's your resume and how many medals you have in a shoebox in your closet. I'm talking about what your potential is as far as the movements of your body, your speed, your flexibility, your timing. I mean, all these things that go into any sport that you're going to excel in. But within this sport of MMA, there's a couple of very specifics within your feet where you can see somebody special. One is called the pull, right? You can bob, you can weave, you can duck, you can parry. The pull is a back bend. A pull is like what Anderson Silva will do, Uriah Hall will do, Izzy Adesanya will do. I might be out of options to name for you that will do, where they actually bend their back. Very difficult, and it even comes down to gender. There's something within the back of the male, you'll see this with gymnasts, that makes it a little bit more difficult for a male than a female. And I was told what this was one time by a gymnast. Now I can't recall it. But when you see what these athletes able to do the pull, and bend their body back as a way of avoiding a kick or a strike. It's just an athletic move that you will stand out and go, okay, this guy has something special here. One of these things, I tie that in with Jamal Hill because the other one is an ability to go to the body. Body shots are very uncommon in MMA. They're very uncommon because your time to work inside, your time to see this, your time to time this, dip out, boom, find that liver, boom, find that kidney. It's very difficult to do because we don't spend a lot of time inside. You're not inside head-to-head -head fighting. You're forced to do that in boxing because clinching is illegal or at least will be separated by the referee, so there's not a lot of point of doing it. So if you get right there, you're forehead to forehead. You're bobbing and weaving and you're digging and you're digging and he's digging and you're blocking. That's normal in boxing. You'll never see that position in MMA. One of the guys will just grab the other one and the referee won't stop it and now you have an advantage. Right, You could be in the dirty box position where you got a guy around his neck and you're giving him the, the punches like a hockey game, but it's not illegal, so you would do it. It is frowned on in boxing, so they don't do it, which is why you see that position, which is why you see body shots in boxing and why you don't see them in MMA by a large part. So when you find a guy in MMA that can work his way in, find that body and work his way back out, you're now seeing something special. This is what Jamil Hill, Jamal Hill does so well. He was digging to OSP's body, but it was, he was doing it so seamlessly. He was doing it like it was a jab or a cross to the head, bump, bump to the body, come back upstairs. It was one of these things where you're watching a rare athlete. You're going, okay, just how, just how talented, purely athletically, is this guy? I can see his drive. I can see his grit. I can see his toughness and his willingness. But just how athletically blessed is he? Because no matter what the guy that's writing the self-help book wants to tell you, that well, the, where there's a will, there's a way. And you can achieve anything if you work hard enough. As great as those things sound, they're not real. So when you see somebody like Hill that is this skilled athletically, oh, by the way, then he has some of the in other intangibles of heart, of grit, of toughness, of not being scared. Standing across from OSP is a scary thing. A lot of guys have tried, not a lot of guys have succeeded. Jamil Hill was all over. He showed him no respect, none. He showed, he showed OSP the kind of lack of respect that OSP used to show to other guys when he was getting his run through the business. It's an interesting athlete that I want to call to your guys' attention, not to mention he's undefeated. The guy's like 9-0 now. 8-0, 9-0, 10-0. Well, he's won a whole bunch of fights and he hasn't lost any. Good enough? Yeah, good enough for me too. I would tell you, Ozdemir, matchup-wise, Ozdemir with his kick, kickboxing, his aggressiveness versus Jamil Hill, Jamal Hill would be very fun. Johnny Walker versus Hill is the fight to make. It's the fight to make. With that reach of Walker, he's going to give him problems. With that ability to get inside by Jamal Hill, he's going to give Walker problems. With Walker, Walker's tendencies to stand up and trade, Training in Thailand, wanted to go and show some of those great kickboxing skills, and Walker's got him. To show that against Jamal Hill, that's a fun match. I'm not a guy that really makes matches or even makes predictions for matches, but I'm sharing with you. I'm sharing with you right now. If, if 
I read Walker versus Jamal Hill. I will mark that on my calendar. I will stop what I'm doing, and I think you guys would do the same.